Hello there, I am Giant Grodel with more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team. In the last part, we took on Mount Blaze and we took on Moltres, I believe, and the Mount Blaze Peak. And now we made it all the way to this very cold uh, place. So yeah, Cody says, Burr, it's cold. Achoo! Yuck. My nose is runny and it's freezing. Isn't this... Isn't this one lonely place? See how deep the snow is? I haven't seen any other Pokemon for a while either. Maybe we're all alone here. Oh, what's the matter? Whoa, well, what's that? Looks like a Pokemon. What was that? It looked like a Pokemon, but... Did I imagine that? No, I don't think so. I'm sure there was somebody there. I wonder what they were doing in this lonely place. I guess thinking about it won't help us. We should keep moving. That's a great attitude, Cody. Let's just keep on moving. Oh, Steven, look. See that? Those trees are frozen. Let it go, let it go. Can't hold it back anymore. Okay, I'll just stop. I'll just stop right there. Wow. The snow is like frozen powder. It looks pretty, but it must be harsh there. That's a good point. That's a really good point. Okay. We don't have a choice. We have to go through this place. It will be horribly cold. I'd rather not go if I don't have to. But hiding out in this area isn't the answer either. We can only go forward. We'll have to get. We'll have to keep our spirits up and keep going, Stephen. Okay. So, uh, here's another statue where you can save and check switch. I'm not gonna save just because, if in case like I have a failed recording or something, you know, I don't wanna overwrite that cutscene or save over that cutscene where I can't view it again. But that's that's basically why I'm not saving another statue. But that's okay. You can save if you want, though. It's it's totally up to you. Uh, let's see here. Store. Um. Yeah, let's get, put the Roar and TM in there, the Special Band in there, the Thief TM, the Great Gummy, the Hidden Power TM. I'll keep a Link Box, I guess. Raspberries. I, I'm going to keep my Reviver Seed. I'm going to keep another Reviver Seed, too, just because I'm really worried if I like get knocked out or something. I'll keep those. I'll put the Plain Seed in there. Keep the Gravel Rocks. Keep the Big Apple. I think that should be good. Yeah, that looks like half my half our toolbox is being used right now. So we got a link box, reviver seed, reviver seed, orange berry, apple, orange berry, gravel rock, orange berry, bag apple, big apple, and orange berry. So we should be good. Uh, do I need to take anything though? Just uh, curiosity. I don't think I have. I don't think I need anything in particular. So, um, uh, I don't. I'm gonna keep my one max elixir in there. Well, I could take it, you know. I'll just take it. I'll just take my max elixir because it might be important later on. Other than that, I'm gonna talk to Cody, or in case that, in case you didn't name your partner Cody, talk to your partner, and whenever you're ready, you can hit yes. Where should we go? Now, the snow path is four floors, and it's a mini dungeon for training and items. But I don't, I don't need to go through that because I feel I'm like at the right level at least by now. Um, I'm probably not over leveled anymore to be honest. But yeah, um. So, to progress in the game, you go to the Frosty Forest, and the snow path is not required to progress in the game, so just whenever you're ready, totally ready, you can go to Frosty Forest. Okay, let's go. It's going to be freezing cold, but let's try our best. Okay, let's do this. Yeah, that's cool. Now the frosty forest is nine floors, and then it has a second part, which I forget the name of. Uh, I think it starts with a G, uh, but I'm gonna I'm gonna put a name on screen. I know it's a it's the frosty forest and the frosty grotto or something like that. It starts with a G. Um, so yeah, the the, the frosty forest is nine floors. The grotto or whatever it's called, the G word. It's um. Ooh, brick break, that's awesome. Cool. And an apple, nice. Can I, can Cody learn that by any chance? I know I can, but I think Cody can learn it. 
We're just out of curiosity. Okay, so what I was saying was that um, the Frosty Force is 9 fours, but the Greta or whatever it is is 5 fours. So it's your longest dungeon by like a 4, I think, but at this point. And it's the, 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 the second part is really hard because there's a bunch of ice type Pokemon and stuff. Um, so, yeah. News. Who needs it more? I think Cody will need it more. Yeah, um, as I'm looking. So I have Water Gun, Bubble Bite, and Dig, which are all offensive moves. And then Cody still has Growl. I'm gonna, I'm gonna teach... Yeah, I'm gonna teach, um, Brick Break to Cody. So I'm gonna get rid of Growl. Forget. If Growl will be forgotten, yes, okay. And Cody learned Brick Break. Oh, that's also, that's also really good for this dungeon, too, because, uh, Cody, um, yeah, because Cody is fire type, and he has a fighting type move now, which is good against the ice type moves. Awesome. So that worked out great. Okay, let's go team moves. I want to set, set water gun, I guess. Cody, however, I want to set, I want to make sure he only uses ember and brick break. That sounds about right. Okay, cool. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, let's find my way th around here. We'll just do something. I don't know. Um, here's Ferrets. Ferrets have Fury Swipes, which is um a deadly move. It's, it's very deadly. So keep in mind of that. And since you're going to try to run away, I'm going to bubble you to the back end, I guess you could say. There we go. Okay. So there's really not much to say about this place other than watch out for... um. For its Fury Swipes, as I said before, and then also worry, uh, keep in mind that Azurals have Bubble. It's not that powerful, but they can hit you from long range distances. So keep that in mind. And there's one right now, actually. So I can just. Hmm. What if I can just set Bite and maybe get like a flinch or something? No, I didn't mean to do that. There we go, there we go. Oh gosh, dang it. They're all right there. Bubble you to death. Come on. Okay, and then if you're trying to run away, I'm gonna just bubble you again. There we go. So, if I can find my way, okay, it's all the way up there, of course it is. Okay, there's the stairs, nice. The spirits always just try to keep on running away, but it's not very nice. Okay, so other than that, um, that's all I have to save you boys, so music time. Now, when you get to this point, there's gonna be like a hidden, uh, another message in between these random fours. It's kind of just random. So dot 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 dot. dot. Um, what else? Someone has intruded upon the forest. The 
and the amphibiled uh, flow of icy winds is the intrusion to blame. It must be stopped. For it is to protect the forest. And let's go back to the music, I guess. Okay, this should be the last floor of the Frosty Forest, so I'm just gonna commentate through this. Oh man, I can't use that because I ran out PP. Um, bubble, I guess? I don't know. There we go. Hopefully I can find the stairs pretty quick because I almost fainted <laughs> in the, on the last floor. Hey, speak of it. Uh, speak of the devil. We found the stairs. Nice. Proceed. Cool. So here's the save point. You can save whenever you're um, done. And uh, yeah. Other than that, um, I'm gonna start not saving on screen just because I don't wanna save over progress if I have failed recording or something like that. I'm paranoid, I know, sorry. But yeah, after that, um, you can just save right here. And I think you can, yeah, you just can save. I don't think you can go through storage again. But um, after that, you can just save and you'll be ready to take on the second part of this dungeon. So this has been Giant Girl again. I would like to end with you again. Goodbye. And hope to see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team Walk the Guide.